Hi, I'm Dr. Phil. Uh, I'm going to talk briefly now about uh, the breast implant scandal, uh, PIP, Silicon Breast Implants, uh, the uh, company and the product that's involved. Uh, and it's basically a criminal activity, a substandard industrial silicon meant for mattresses uh, and various other industrial processes were put into um, silicon implants, uh, some of which are a bit leaky uh, and clearly dangerous. Uh, and my feeling is that women who've had these breast implants have been victims of a crime. Uh, the UK government uh, has said that it will remove all the implants that were put in on the NHS. Uh, these are mainly for breast cancer, about 7,000 of those. And to be perfectly blunt about it, the NHS put them in because they were cheap. These particular implants were a fifth the price of other implants, which to me is pretty suspicious. Now, generally with most things in life, you get what you pay for. And when something is that much cheaper than other equivalent products, you've got to worry um, that uh, we didn't regulate this properly enough, we didn't actually look into it properly enough. Uh, and I think the government and the regulators have probably failed women in this regard. We should know that all the implants we use, uh, whether it's hips, whether it's cement, whether it's cosmetic fillers, um, have been properly tested and properly monitored in humans, and we simply don't do that at the moment. So a huge scandal, uh, and it could affect lots of other uh, processes in the cosmetic industry. Generally, the message is simple. If you don't need cosmetic enhancement, don't have it. It really doesn't matter. Men, some men may say to their partners, I want you to have breast lights, Jordan well, frankly, move on. The vast majority of men are quite happy with breasts of any shape or size, uh, and actually, you just need confidence, you just need love, you just need a little bit of support. Uh, but if you have had these implants fitted, you may have had a mastectomy for breast cancer, you've got these implants fitted. Uh, if it was done on the NHS, it should be removed. If it was done with a private company who are refusing to fund the removal, I think eventually the NHS should remove it. Because basically, as I say, women have been victims of crime, and in just about every other case, the NHS is there, as a safety net when things go badly wrong. So it would be good if some of these private companies had the moral fibre and backbone to say, yeah, we're going to remove these for free, uh, maybe put in other implants, maybe not put in other implants. Uh, but if they absolutely refuse to, or they go into liquidation, or they go bust, uh, I think the NHS should remove them because that's what the NHS is for. It's the safety net when all things go wrong, human folly, criminal activity, the NHS should be there uh, for patients uh, to pick up the pieces, and that's why it was founded. Uh, so keep fighting, uh, get good legal advice if you can, but let's put pressure on uh, politicians and on the NHS to make sure uh, that they, uh, they remove the implants from women who want the implants removed from. Maybe that you're there and you think, well, I'm not really sure what the fuss is about, my implants don't seem to be bothering me, I'm happy. Uh, but there'll be lots of other women who think, well, actually, this is a substandard implant I have in there with industry-grade silicone that's meant for mattresses or other sorts of things. I don't want it in my breast, even though it's not affecting me at the moment. That should certainly be removed. And it should be removed on the NHS. So that's my campaign for January. Uh, support these women, look after them, get them removed, but have a wider debate about do we really need all this cosmetic surgery. And I think if you're fine and you're fit and you're healthy, just accept yourself, whether the shape or size you happen to be. If it works well, that's fine. The breasts aren't for looking at. Most of the time, they're not even for breastfeeding. They're actually hormonal and metabolic organs uh, that carry out a vital function in our bodies every single day of our lives. So look after your breasts. Uh, they're not there for looking at, they serve a decent purpose. Don't mess about with them. Just leave them as they are. Thank you very much.